Well, hello! I was waiting for you. Where have you been? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jana and you are watching Curves on the Road. A story, guys. I went to a shop and I was like, oh, this is a cute skirt. I looked at it. Pants. Okay. Just a fluke, right? Another one. Pants. Another one. I was like, what happened to dresses? And I came to a conclusion. This year is jumpsuit year. So I'm bringing for you a haul with only jumpsuits and cohorts. So let's dive right into it. We have lots of pieces of different colors and different styles. So I think you'll have a lot to choose from. As you can see, I'm already wearing the first jumpsuit. This one, first thing that I loved is this little thing. It covers my arms, it's very extra, and if you know me, you know I like to be very extra. Although, at the back, there is the tiniest, teeniest button that she, and a little, little rubber band, and you have to put it together with my big nails. Not the easiest task, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth the while, because the sleeves are what's beautiful about it. Without the sleeves, Ah, it's a little bit of Teletubbies. I'm sorry, but like the one color, I'm still getting a little bit of Tinky Winky, but most of the jumpsuit that are just one color give me a little bit of Teletubbies vibe. This one is stretchy. You can see that there's a stretch in the material. It is generously cut. I'm wearing 4X. I could probably go to 3X, but it has short torso. I have quite a long body, so these jumpsuits are usually a little bit short on torso and it makes, you know, the little camel on the desert thing around my crotch. So it, it's really comfortable. The stretch gives it a super comfort. It has a zipper at the back. You can see the zipper and generally it is a beautiful statement piece to a theater, concerts, galleries, or like me, anywhere. The second jumpsuit is a little bit different. This one is actually a swimsuit or a wetsuit if you're a diver. I went to Cozumel in Mexico, it's an island, and they're trying to protect their corals. And as a result, you are not allowed to use sunscreen, which means I was burned to crisp. So for any other expedition, I need to be ready. I have the wetsuits for diving, but they are really thick and you're not comfortable for just snorkeling or sitting around in those. So I decided to buy this shorts, long sleeves, everything's protected that you need protected when you are spending a long time in water. I love the design, it's not all over the place. The black with the white lines make wonderful silhouette. It sits perfectly, it has a zipper, very long zipper, you can easily get in and out. If you're not like me, when I'm used to having my wetsuit with a zipper at the back, so I put it on and I was like, it just doesn't work, somebody help me in. And then I realized I have it the other way around, but it's not the first time it happened to me. The palm trees are very tropical, uh, I like that very much. It really has the slimming effect, so I can't be mad at that. And it's not very hot. It's hot outside today and I'm wearing it and it's long sleeve and everything. The material is the normal swimsuit material and I'm fine. I'm fine. So yeah, if you need to protect your body from the sun rays, here's your solution and you'll look fabulous. This jumpsuit is like Jekyll and Hyde. A plain side and another side with lots of sequin and lots of going on. It's polyester, so not the most pleasant material, but on the legs I don't mind. And on the top there is not much to talk about. It has a zipper at the back, but 
when you're going through the sequence, it's really hard to do it. So I never open the zipper up and I still can get it over my butt. So it's, it's perfectly fine. You can adjust the straps to make it as long or short for your torso as you need. So that's perfect because I usually need a little more space for the torso. It has one leg longer than the other. The one with the sequence is longer than the other. So I might need to shorten it or wear a little bit higher heels. I would probably belt it and I'll definitely put something over my arms. Normally, I probably wouldn't put this jacket over, but since I got it and I wanted to show it to you, well, problem solved, right? It was meant for a costume, a costume of the mask from the movie with Jim Carrey. You feel like something's missing? Wait. Now I think it's complete. Well, of course I would need the green makeup, but I attempted several times and yeah, it didn't look good at all. It looked like I was painting walls with green and it accidentally went on my face. It was so patchy. If you have any tips how to make a nice green makeup that works for you, please let me know down in comments. So this was the mask costume. A little bit of green on the clothing, the yellow statement jacket the mask was wearing and the hat. The hat was saving my life in Mexico because it was so hot and I had a little shade and it was wonderful. The hat is great for another reason. You can basically fold it into a very small ball and put it anywhere. It's not like one of those head that you religiously carry around and it bothers you everywhere. So highly recommend the hat. The jacket is stretchy. It has some stretch, which is good. It has padding on your shoulders. So power woman over there. It doesn't have lining, which is a little bit that this part is, you know, popping out when you don't keep it in place, but still solid jacket, not too warm. And if you need something yellow, this could be a good piece. I was supposed to show you a cohort now of absolutely fantastic pieces. But when I was buying it already, I knew it's not going to fit, but I still had to have it. It's because of this shirt. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Can you see the parrot? It's a Macau. It's a Macau parrot and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I always wanted something with like a big statement parrot on it. Not only from the front, but also from the back. I mean, ha! Ah, birds, birds everywhere. Speaking of birds, they're also on these pants. And these pants, as you can see them in my hands, would never ever fit over these hips. I wanted to entertain you and try it on, but it ended mid-calf and I was like, yeah, nah, th there's no point. I might give them to somebody smaller and they might be happy with that. There, there is no point in me pushing them up and breaking them, basically. There's no stretch in the material, like zero stretch. So they will not, except for, of course, in the waist, there's no stretch in the fabric. So it will not forgive you anything. The shirt is much more see-through than the pants, which is probably intended. Super light. And this is only 2XL. It's from the straight size line and it fits well. I think, okay, would I appreciate bigger size? Yes, did they have it? No. So I'm grateful for what I got. And you can wear it with like lots of different colors, red, blue, yellow, white, anything. So you can pair it. And I like it has this kind of bougie vibe, you know, I'm going to my cottage in Hamptons and I'm gonna wear something over my swimsuit. This is fantastic. I promise you, cords, I will deliver. This, I love the pants. I bought it just for the pants. I didn't really care much about the top part. So let's start with the favorite and that's the pants. They are super high waisted. You can see that when I pull them up, they actually touch the crop top. So absolutely brilliant. 
I love how sparkly they are. They have so much sequin on them and it's not falling around. Like I have some sequin pieces from Shein where everybody knows I've been there because there's a trace of glitter all over the place. But this one seemed to be pretty solid. They are warmer though. So if you plan them for like some summer party, you might be a little bit hot. They are long. They are all the way to the ground to me and I'm one meter 75 centimeters so i'm quite tall and still the pants are really really long i'm thinking of having them a little bit altered and also they don't have a stretchy band around the waist and i'm the classic pear shape right like i have smaller waist and a huge butt so i would need something to cinch the waist because these pants fit perfectly around my hips, but they are a little bit too big around my waist. They are not stretchy at all, so check the measurements to get the right size, but they are very generously cut because they are supposed to be like the skirt effect, so I'm pretty sure you'll be able to fit in if you're about my size. It had the top uh, well, uh, it had something <laughs> to put on top, to be correct. Um, it's too big for me. We all know there is nothing going on there, so I have nothing to hold the top part on. It's supposed to be some flowers or roses. It's cute. It's a, it's a cute crop top, but it's too big. I have it put in, inside my bra so that it holds up, and as you can see, it's not holding up anyways. This part is holding things to the mic. Otherwise, I would already be looking for it on the ground. So, yeah, I'm not really sure I will ever wear the top part, but the pants with anything else, you don't have to worry much about the top part anymore because the statement is made. I have paired it. This part was not part of this set. I have found this wrong week top that is a little bit goth and I'm going through some era that I kind of like these goth things a little bit and it's perfect. It fits my arms just right. So if your arms are a little bit bigger than mine, you might feel a little constricted, but for me, perfect. Again, no stretch. So it is what it is. I like it. It's quite sexy with this little ribbon over here that you can adjust as open or as closed as you want it. And it adds some more layer to, to your clothing. I looked completely naked when I wore just the crop top and the pants. So here's the final outfit. I have one bonus t-shirt. It's not a cord, it's not a jumpsuit, it's just t-shirt, but I loved the boho print. It's a little bit ethnic and most importantly, this t-shirt has some mixture of cotton, so it's super nice for summer that you won't be crazy hot in it. And also it has some air conditioning on the sides where you can breathe and it still covers your arms. If you have the same problem like I do, that you don't like showing the upper part of your arms, you're perfectly covered and yet you can still breathe. It's comfortable. I don't have much more to say about it. It looks good. Love the color scheme. Yeah, definitely good piece. So that's it. <laughs> that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, why don't you give me one summary thumb up and you can subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, have the best rest of your day and bye!